guys in this video we show you how to create this uh, really interesting effect uh, in Adobe Photoshop and to do it we will need a Photoshop extension called uh, Ashley Ribbon Effects and uh, we can get it at the link in the description let's see how to install and use it we can use uh, Ashley Ribbon Effects on its own by installing the action script and the patterns but the best way to use this tool is installing the effects box so we can go to the orangebox.com, install the effects box for free and this tool inside Photoshop will handle these uh, extensions and plugins for us so we don't have to worry about uh, patterns, brushes or other assets installed because everything will be inside this panel so we just need to download, install it and load the effect into Photoshop once we install the effects box we will find it under window, extensions, effects box and we can load the Asher Ribbon Effects by clicking on the plus icon and navigating to the Asher Ribbon Effects installer. We just click here and the effects is installed in our library. And let me show you how to apply the effect on this photo. I already made a selection to save time. So you can do this selection with the multiple tools. So you can use the lasso tool, the pen tool, whatever you want. And once you made this selection, you be sure that it's selected and the background photo is visible. And once you have these conditions, you go here and click apply this effect. At the end of the script, we will always have to make some changes, especially at the ribbons that are placed in the back, or for example, the background color or the spheres. But the action script will set up the document for us to work very easily and make these changes the best way possible. I'm going to change the background texture into white so we can see better what's going on. Hiding this layer, we reveal back our starting photo. And we have background lines, spheres and other spheres that we can, for example, hide and not show. If we go in the back ribbons layer, in the layer mask thumbnail, as, as you can see, is already unlinked. We go here, we click, we can hit Ctrl T or Command T and transform the stripes or the back ribbons. So we can, uh, we can match our photo, we can create a different effect, we can create, uh, for example, we can place the lines uh, vertically. Remember this is a layer mask, so we can uh, also paint the stripes uh, once again if we don't like. With the warp tool as well, we can really match the corners of our photo. And this step uh, must be done manually unfortunately because it, it cannot be made uh, automatic. It will be always imprecise. So depending on uh, the photo and the type of defect uh, that we want to give, we can work on this layer with the transform tool. Remember to work on the layer mask and not on the layer itself. So once we are uh, happy with the result, we click OK. And we can, uh, for example, paint back some areas that were in the original photos. So if we click in the reveal back layer mask and we pick up a, a white brush, we can paint back areas of the photo and as you can see there is no need to worry about the selection because it's automatically applied so we can uh, this stage we can uh, play with the subject that uh, we decide to use and the reveal parts if we want to create a very advanced uh, transparency effect we will need to work on the background texture layer and create a layer mask as well here and then with a very wide brush in uh, black we can hide parts of the background texture which will uh, reveal back uh, parts of the background photo keep in mind that uh, the color that we choose for the background texture will be visible behind the stripes so if we want to make a very polished effect we will have to replicate uh, the background uh, photo on this layer over here if I just uh, darken it it already looks a lot more natural but uh, I hope you get this point and uh, this uh, idea of transparency and how layer masks work. If you have problems, contact me or uh, write me in the comments.